Okay, everyone. Uh, Sky has done a really good job of sharing a little bit of grinding tips uh, with his grinder and some of his processes. He shared that a couple of weeks ago. Um, I really want to continue that trend so that people can kind of just learn by watching videos and hopefully soak in a lot of this information. And I really feel that's what Sky was intending to do is just share some tips and tricks that help him get by doing certain tasks. And there's a lot of information out there that can be uh, either misleading or maybe confusing. Um, but I thought I'd just share something tonight about how I approach dagger grinds. Um, this dagger I have here is a grinding a, grip, a ground dagger, which is about halfway through its process. So um, when you're grinding daggers and sort of double-edged items, I think the biggest thing that we want to be aware of is that getting too thin on one side, and if you're not the same thickness on the other side, that can you can run into problems where your thickness management can be a little bit tricky. So. Um, the way I like to approach grinding is with double beveled is just keeping my point really thick So I've left this thickness. Oh my phone wants to focus Here we go There we go, uh, I'm keeping my point relatively thick. It's probably still about three mil on the point maybe two and a half and I do that bit at the very last what I'm trying to lead with my grind is I want straight lines from one side of my bevel to the other. Having scribe lines will definitely help you with this. However, if you get some practice down, you'll be able to do it without worrying about scribe lines too much. The concern with my scribe lines on the edge are more important than this face because as you're grinding each face towards the center line or this ridge point, which makes your dagger, that can become quite easy to manage. Usually I've got a ruler in my pocket measuring from the center line out to one side of the bevel and then the other side. There's my ruler, just there. So that's something to keep in mind, just keeping your point uh, nice and thick. Um, secondly, if you notice, if my phone wants to, to focus, this dagger um, it doesn't have any plunge lines or anything. So I'm really leading the grind to a sort of not really sharp edge but a, a thin edge and I want these bevels to look nice and tidy. So where I'm grinding this down is I'm trying to keep my Ricasso section of my dagger nice and thick. So it's still about maybe six mil at the end of the dagger here. And my grind line will translate or transfer into a center line down here and that center line will continue down the tang slightly that i'm not too worried about because this is a collaboration with someone else that's their job <laughs> um, but my scratch lines which is what i was trying to talk about before are going on a 45 degree angle so when i grind my daggers or when i, th I think a lot of the general public approach dry grinding daggers they'll come across the belt 90 degrees or perpendicular to the belt as they're grinding across which does work to get your initial grinds done. However, as you start to create a flat face on your grind from where your flat stock is to where your bevel begins, it's really hard to manage this bevel and even just the smallest amount of rotation in your wrist and your elbow can create uh, problems, especially if you're new to this kind of thing. So when I'm approaching the dagger grinds, I bring my workpiece towards myself or the, with the point facing up in a 45 degree fashion. The great thing about working across on a diagonal from your belt is the amount of surface area that the belt cuts. It's a lot less aggressive and usually for a lot of grinds will help you get yourself a better ridge line or center line, which is what I have here on my two edges. That's my two ridge lines there, which will eventually become the center line to the dagger. So this grind is 45 degree, and as I'm grinding and working my way to the point, my points actually transition from being flat to almost um, a sort of, well, a, a no-go zone. I don't know really what, what to call it tonight. But as I'm grinding, I'm finishing my grind probably about here on the belt, and then leaving it alone. 
So this is really the last area is the point. And once you've got it established where I have it, you just leave that alone. Don't do that until last. And then I'm continuously bringing these lines into my center line and trying to bring these lines further in as well. Now my stamp here is going to get ground past and it will have a sort of ricasso area on this dagger, which is the design. But as you're grinding these guys down, just try to keep note that you've got this much thickness on one side and you've only got so much thickness on the other side and keeping that even is really really difficult so if you're working and trying something new try grinding on a 45 degree it can be this way if you want as well whatever works i find grinding this way because i could use my thumb to put pressure right where that ridge line sits like there i can feel when it's off the belt and i can feel when it's making a flat contact with the belt so that um, is where I'm approaching my grind and when I'm grinding I usually grind two sides like this so I'm working the left and then the right and after I've done a little bit on that side I'll check my roller which is over there and then I'll turn things over and try to match things at the moment the bevel goes in about maybe eight mil from each side and I know they're not even yet I'm not too worried I'm on a nice gritty 36 grit cubitron belt so it doesn't take uh, too long to rough these bevels out. And as these lines come closer and closer, your ridge line will be present. Um, so I will just sort of leave that out there for people that might find this um, informative. Um, this is a feather Damascus knife that I'm working on at the moment as well, so it's supposed to look really nice. And I um, suggest if you try to get into doing double, double beveled uh, daggers or double beveled anything, um, yeah, this is how you do your, this is how I would approach doing my bevel grinds. And um, I used to grind a lot on a 90 degree angle, which is fine. And if you do it that way, then continue that way because it's obviously working for you. But for me, I just struggled a lot. So just turning the belt and increasing the surface area of grind and obviously giving myself a better ridge line to develop. That's the best thing for me. So yeah, but yeah, um, thank you to Sky for sort of setting this sort of thing in motion. I want to put some more little videos out for the maker community and see how this sort of generates a little bit of learning online. So yeah, thank you. All right, so I'm finished with the grain now. This is a belt finish on a 120 grit belt. So I've swapped from the 36 grit to a 120 grit Cubitron. These are all just the 700, 780 series. Um, so just to clean up the lines, I'm going pretty slow on the uh, VFD on the moment. I'm running it at about 9 on the digital dial, so it's pretty pretty slow. And I'm just sort of dialing in that, that thickness. So the blades are not too bad on the straight department. The um, point is still quite thick, so then I can just, as I was saying before, I can just tidy this up later now. But... Um, my thickness is pretty even along the board and my bevels are moderately even on both sides, which is good. Uh, I'm going to leave the back of the dagger a little bit thicker for this design and it's not going to be a sharp dagger, so there's no sharp edge, it's just a decorative, decorative piece. This has been heat treated, so it's 1084 and 1520 and Damascus and it is um, yeah, going to be a little bit thicker down here, it doesn't have to be sharp. But yeah, I just need to go through and dial in that thickness on the um, tip of the point blade of the blade now and just tidy up where that center line sits. But I'm pretty, pretty even down the middle here. It's a little bit hard to see on camera, obviously. But I'm not too bad. This side is a little bit more straight, I think. Yeah, this side's pretty good, and I've just got a little bit more to dial in on this left side. But yeah, but I hope you find that informative, and um, for those that are tackling dagger builds and things like that in the future, if you're doing sort of plungeless, just like sort of like a spear point um, dagger, that's um, yeah a way to approach it. So just give that a shot.